Hello, Year 6, and welcome to our first lesson. You should have, over the weekend and up until Wednesday, today, have finished reading chapters 8, 9, and 10 from Ut. Now, we're going to continue talking about implied meaning and imagery, but we're going to do it a little bit more sophisticated now. I'm going to introduce something called a peel paragraph. Now, it's actually a little bit funnier than that because the link, the L in peel, is not really appropriate for us to do right now. So we're going to write P paragraphs. All right? You can see in the steps that follow, I outline all of this, a P paragraph is point, example, and explanation. The first sentence in your paragraph will be your point. What is your point? What are you going to talk about in the paragraph? What are you going to say? This first E is your example. What examples from the text support your point? In other words, what is your evidence? Second E is the explanation of that example. How does the example support your point? Okay, you need to explain your evidence. You need to explain your example here, and we'll get to link later. So here's an example of a P paragraph. Point. The audience gets the impression that Matt doesn't like teaching this way. See, I haven't said I don't like teaching this way, but the audience, you go, I don't think, I don't think Matt likes teaching this way. All right. What's your example? Well, he said he's cold in the last video. Take something that I said in the last video. Okay, said he's cold. People don't normally like being cold, so that's an explanation of my evidence. All right, next. He's wearing a hoodie now. Aha, uh -huh. that's another example. Explanation, after complaining of the cold, Matt put on a hoodie for the second video, showing that he's not comfortable. Another example, he said he looks ugly on camera. Aha, uh -huh. and what's the explanation for that? People normally don't like to acknowledge when they're ugly, and that must be very difficult for Matt to face that, that the fact that he's ugly. And so your paragraph, P, reads, the audience gets the impression that Matt doesn't like teaching this way. He said he's cold in the last video, and people don't normally like to be cold. He's wearing a hoodie now, and that shows that he was not comfortable and is trying to make himself more comfortable. And he said he looks ugly on camera, and people don't normally like to acknowledge that they're ugly, and so it must be tough for him to acknowledge that about himself. Hopefully you see that. I'm going to include this example and one more example from the text hoot. Your task is going to be to write one paragraph that's organized in the same way based on the prompt that I give you. Good luck. Take your time. It's not a race. I look forward to your responses, and if you have any questions, email me immediately. I'll see you in lesson two.